Okay, the link peg and the hitch peg are going to be modeled with parametric constraints. So basically what this is, is we're going to use algebra to write equations to model all the dimensions. And because these parts are so similar, once we figure out the equations, all we will have to do is quickly modify those equations and we won't have to model the part again. We'll be able to create a copy of the part and get both of those parts modeled. Okay, so uh, if we look at these, we'll see that we are going to define these parameters and actually enter these directly into Fusion. So if you look at this, this part here, the hitch peg, of course, the diameter is a quarter inch, so the radius would be an eighth of an inch. Um, the length of the peg then, this half inch dimension, would be the diameter times two. And if you get out your calculator and take 0.65 divided by 0.5, then you would see that the height of the peg, the full height of the peg, would be the length times 1.3. The spherical radius is the only dimension that is not going to be a parameter other than the original nominal diameter. Okay, if we look at the linkage peg, we'll see that, uh, of course, for the radius, it's exactly the same. For the radius, you will take the uh, diameter divided by 2. The length of the peg, this is a 16th inch diameter, is a quarter inch. So this time, the length of the peg is the diameter times 4. Uh, the height of the peg, if you take 0.325 divided by a quarter, is once again the length times 1.3. And then, of course, the spherical, spherical diameter is a different number. So if you notice, these equations are very similar, and all we have to do is we'll have to modify three values, and or three three values or equations, and we'll have the other part modeled. Um, it actually usually works better modeling the linkage peg first, so that's what we're going to start with. Okay, so we'll start a new design. Um, Save it as linkage peg. Let's draw, um, let's see, we don't want to sketch yet. Let me undo that. First thing we want to do when we're doing parametrics is to set up and change those parameters. That's under modify, um, change parameters. So these are user parameters. So we can hit the plus sign there and add our own names for things. So there's our nominal diameter of 0.0625 inches and that's the diameter and you'll notice that it's rounding that off because we have our units set to be three decimal places say okay um, hit the plus sign and you'll notice when I hit R I cannot make that my variable name it's in red and it's going to say enter a valid variable name so I actually have to type something else out. And RAD would be radian, so there are some variable names that you cannot use because they're already used by the program. So of course the radius is D divided by two. We say okay, click plus sign again, and this time we'll do the length. And the length is, uh, D times 4. Click the plus sign again to find the height. And the height is the length times 1.3. And then the spherical radius of 0 0.1562 and there we go say so, okay so now that we have defined all of our parameters now we can start a sketch so we'll go ahead and sketch on the XY plane 
and this part is pretty small you know it's less than a half inch so I'm going to try to zoom in and get this kind of close to scale anyways so I'm going to draw a vertical line hit escape um, I want to sketch a center point arc okay so on the crate tab go to center point arc and the only thing you got to be careful of is we do not want to snap into the midpoint of that line we need to make sure that we're not on the middle and we do want to connect when I do that arc center point arc don't get the middle um, just get somewhere not the middle and then we will finish sketching the overall profile and I'm not worried about things connecting perfectly or being perfectly to scale I'm going to click and create a horizontal line and you'll notice I locked everything in with perpendicular lines I didn't worry about them connecting perfectly because I can go in under modify and use the trim tool and trim off my extra okay and now that I have all those dimensions uh, or all those lines drawn now I can add my dimensions so when I go into dimension um, that was the radius so all I got to do is start typing radius and I have an option to just click on that and that will resize it so there's the radius um, the length of this side is the length and then this side is the height so I just type start typing height and click the value and then this one would be the spherical radius I don't know what I hit there dimension let's point at that spherical radius there we go uh, finish the sketch and revolve of course when we pick to revolve we got to select what do we want to revolve around the axis of revolution and there we go and of course the last thing we want to do is chamfer the bottom edge ten thousandths of an inch Okay, so there is the linkage peg. Okay, pretty simple to model, fairly simple revolve. So now um, that we have the linkage peg, we can save as and now call this the hitch peg. And then now that we have the hitch peg, we can go back to the modify change parameters and now we just need to change the values so the diameter for the hitch peg is a quarter inch the length of the hitch peg is times two and the spherical radius is two hundred eight thousandths so once I change all of that magically it changes size and I have the hitch peg so that is uh, why we built this with parameters because it makes it real easy easy introduction to parameters